de más y copas de más. Tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te va. Aunque sé que no debo. Make sure, guys, we are still figuring out our names. So do we like baddies? Do we like las conejitas? I've seen conejitas malas. Let me know. I'm open to all the ideas. Keep dropping them down. And don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you guys are always notified when I upload a brand new video. I also want to take a small moment of this video and thank you guys so much for the love you guys showed me in my previous video. It truly, honestly means the world to me. It literally made me so, so emotional to see all the positive response, to see all your beautiful, positive comments. It just uh, meant the world to me, guys. I am always going to be transparent and as honest as I possibly can with you guys. Truly and honestly, I really don't have much family. I really don't have much friends. I'm a very, like, to myself person. Person. All I really have is my boyfriend, which is why I thank him each and every day for being part of my life and helping me through things and being such a good impact on my life and loving me unconditionally. I also want to give a big thanks and shout out to you guys because without you guys, man, you guys make me feel like I have a family, like I have a bond. I love you guys so freaking much, man. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I love you. Besitos. For this part of today's video, I will be showing you guys my skincare routine. And later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys my simple, easy makeup routine to go on with my day. Also, guys, make sure to follow my Instagram because I am always active on there, always posting things, always interacting with you guys on Instagram. So make sure to follow my Instagram and my TikTok. And I'm going to be showing you guys a makeup look for later in my couple vlog that I'm going out and I'm doing something. So make sure you're watching the couple vlogs because, you know, that will be the vlog of my day but as of today we're gonna start off with my skincare routine my skin type is very very dry so if you have dry skin types you are in the right place because i'm gonna show you all the hack the dry skin because i have very dry skin i'm a reptile it's just bad like i'm a reptile it's bad i wake up in the morning and as you guys see i wet my face with cold water because since i wash my face before i sleep i'm also going to give you guys a nighttime routine but since i wash my face before i sleep i don't want to keep washing it and keep cleansing it because all i did was sleep so all i do is wash off the products from last night with some water so that way i'm not over drying my face that's an important important tip first thing that i go with on my skincare routine is niacinamide I hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna put it all up here, the exact ones I use. I use niacinamide from The Ordinary. This is the first thing that I put on my face and truly, honestly, it's helped so much. I also think this is very helpful towards my acne. I'm going to put pictures up here for you guys. I struggled with cystic acne all my life. I'm going to give you guys tips that are really gonna help with acne because I feel like when it comes to acne, it's important to do the bare minimum. Literally, that's it because our faces are so sensitive. Like the less shit you gotta do, the better for your skin. Okay, okay. Period. So I go ahead and like drop this like this. That's how I do it. You gotta do it how I do it. That's how I do it. The niacinamide is very drying, so we have to moisturize it with something. I got this sent to me by TikTok. It's the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops with moisturizers. If you have acne, I do not recommend this product because it does have fragrance. Now that I have advanced from my acne journey, I can use things on my face that are like a little bit fragrancy without the dewiness a bit because we are really dry. So I need as much moisture as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. What I love about this is I feel like it's a good base for makeup. I feel like it gets sticky, which I like. Always the neck, guys. We gotta stay young looking at the neck. But hyaluronic acid is my next step from the ordinary. This bitch, this, this thing right here is a lifesaver because we need hyaluronic acid to look glowy. And this literally keeps my skin glowing. I'm in Miami right now. If the Miami sun dries me out so much more, I'll literally start peeling. So it's so important to like rehydrate. Like literally, if I'm not wearing makeup throughout the day and after a while, I'll literally redo these steps because my skin is just dying. Like it's 
dying. We're gonna go ahead and add some hyaluronic acid onto our skin. I love these little drops. They're like so much fun. And just rub that in also, also on our neck. So nice, your skin's already coming together, already growing. It feels amazing. Let's let her dry for a little bit and chill. Have a little bit of a chat. People don't understand dry skin and how much moisture it needs. Like dry skin and acne, I feel like is the worst mix ever. Ever, freaking ever. So I had very bad hormonal imbalances because of my period, because of all that stuff. So it was even worse because of hormonal and acne broken out and I was putting makeup and popping it and like doing all that stuff because all I did was touch my face. Don't touch your face. Do not be like me because look at my pictures. Look at my pictures. Now that I'm done with my acne journey, I now suffer from rosacea where like my skin is like all red. So if she ain't full coverage, she gonna be looking like a tomato. A tomato a tomato tomato potato okay let's not do that and the next step is the drunk elephant moisturizer if you have acne I would recommend this moisturizer it is so light it is so amazing oh that's one of my favorite moisturizers ever I literally love her put it under your eyes put it here put it here put her everywhere she feels beautiful already and after I put my moisturizer my final final step is a sunscreen and I put a very very moisturizing sunscreen and if you have acne sunscreen is so important because like I said the Sun is still irritating you so it's just gonna irritate you even more and before I never wore sunscreen and I can tell such a difference of what sunscreen does for your face I know she be looking a little ugly sometimes and she does this one that I use the CeraVe moisturizing she does have a bit of white cast I won't lie to you I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna tell you but she cheap so that's why I use her and I deal with the white cast because I know that there's expensive ass sunscreen that don't have well, you don't got time for that so you know what I deal with the white cast but I'm sure you guys can find something that doesn't have a white cast I haven't but her white cast is very very light we're just gonna go ahead and apply some sunscreen everywhere on the neck too around the face and then i take the remaining and i just rub it in my hands so that is my final step the sunscreen goes last and that is literally my morning skin routine now i let this sit and i let this dry for a little bit and then i'll apply my makeup so i'll come back and do my little makeup routine with y'all this is her let's get close up and get a view of her as you guys can see i still have dark spots all of that but she is glowing she is looking like a glazed donut and if you don't look like a glazed donut you're not doing it right and what now we look like some because before we was looking like a little dried up prune bean but now we're looking like bad bitch. so i'm gonna see you guys in a little bit and we're gonna do our makeup now guys we are going to get ready and do our makeup together and i'm gonna show you guys a quick easy natural makeup routine really quick really easy really simple and it's the way i do it i don't know how you do it but it's the way i do it so we gonna see the way i do it so first i'm gonna wet the booby blender for my babes that struggle with acne it is so important to buy these new i know it's annoying but sometimes i use my hands but when i want full coverage i can't use my hands but these hold so much bacteria so make sure you guys are cleaning these very very well and also guys it is so important to use foundations that don't have oil sometimes i'll even use this as concealer because extra oils will clog our pores and give us acne and this born this way foundation is oil free so it literally never makes me break out like when i'm literally leaving the house and i just dab it on and like dab it on here and i leave that's it that's all you need it's literally the best but we're gonna go a little not like fully full coverage but a little bit more full coverage than like we always do so we're just gonna go ahead and like cover up all this stuff now this is my winter shade i still haven't darkened to my summer shade yet but summer's coming up so hopefully by then i can darken to my summer shade because this is still my winter shade and like it looks hell we're just gonna blend this in everywhere and honestly i feel like this foundation gives me the best coverage the most natural coverage i kind of like my skin to shine through and it gives me that effect but also like covers all the acne you know what i mean now this is the fun part if y'all don't know now y'all know i love rare beauty's blush they got the best blush the best shit the best everything i love their blush lena gomez put her whole a whole tussie a whole coochie kitty cat everything in this blush like this blush is selena gomez is herself like selena gomez the icon is in this blush this blush is so amazing so perfect you will never see nothing like this blush i was literally mesmerized when i seen this i'm gonna be old and i'm gonna still have blush because this shit never runs out this shit is worth the money like never runs out this is my little trick that i be doing that only i do so if you do at me i put a little bit under my eye but a very little bit and then i'll put concealer and blend it out you're gonna look like a whole supermodel like 
my favorite trick, my favorite trick. So you just put a little dot, because a little goes a long way with this. When I tell y'all a little go a long way, a little go a long way. If you don't know how to apply blush, you're gonna look like Boo Boo the Clown. You gotta, you gotta blend this out very well, very lightly, because if not, there's no coming back. Look, I have all my makeup in a makeup bag, because I'm at my mom's house. And look at this shit, like, I'm over here digging in my freaking concealer, like, this, this is a mess. This is, I feel just, like, unorganized, like, I don't even know what concealer's with, but I got 20,000 concealers that are empty. I need to get my shit together. Like, did I even pack a concealer that's, like, full? I'm gonna blot the concealer all around. I need a lot of concealer, because these bags is Dior, these bags is Gucci, these bags is Birkins. They need to be covered. Expensive bags call for more extreme measures. And my other trick is I bring her, like, out like that, so my face just go, like, like that, you know what I mean? And here go my second layer of concealer. Why you ask? Because I just told you these bags is Birkin, Gucci, Chanel, Prada, Dior, and we gotta cover them. My bags is now covered up. Look at me. And now we're gonna contour. Now my dog ate my contour, but you know what? Who got money to go get a new contour? Not me. We're gonna use this till it's out. And we're just gonna contour a little bit. I always go higher than the cheekbone because if you go higher, then when it blends out, it lowers. That way you still, you know, you still snatch. Got a big ass head, so we're gonna contour that shit gone. You're not even gonna see that shit no more after I contour and I, and I contour lightly because remember guys this is a very light light makeup so you don't want to contour intensely because then it's going like a whole beat and we don't we don't want to like we we all beat up well like we got a light beat like I woke up like this we flawless that's what you want to look like and now my favorite part and now my favorite part this is my favorite part yo if I could like you know what I mean this blush I would I love this blush. like if I could have babies with this blush I would have kids blush selena i love your blush not sponsored love it and i blend her everywhere i blend her all over my cheek all over my bone i blend her on the contour i put her everywhere i love looking like a pink cat like i love looking pinkity pink pink like a pinkity drinkity you know what i mean i love looking pink so that's what we about to do right now so this is what i got so far not happy with it i want more so i'm gonna put a little bit more remember little goes a long way like i literally like swipe it off dot dot i like to blend it in here too Oh, everywhere. This go everywhere. Moral of the story is, put that bitch everywhere. And this is the best shade. This shade, Happy. And guess what? This shit buy my happiness. It made me happy because I'm happy. If you feel. And I put it on my chin. Put it here. Put it on my forehead. I just put it everywhere. Now we're going to set our face. I know you guys were like, Jessica, there was no powder involved. Now we're going to involve the powder. I know what I'm doing. I got it step by step by step. So now we're going to get this little Huda Beauty powder. I like the mini because it comes with this little pluffy thing. And all I do is this. I swear to you guys. This is all I do. I go like that. And whoo, I love this little pluff that it has. I forgot to contour my nose. We're not going to contour our nose today. But usually I just do two little lines. But did I contour my nose? So I grab a brush. Take a little bit of this and I do two little skinny lines, very skinny right here on the bridge of my nose. Just like that, super skinny. And then I grab a concealer and I put dot, dot right here in the middle. And I just blend that up like it was never there. And we just gonna snatch that nose. We gonna snatch her. I'll set the rest of her face and then I don't bake when I do like a light bead because I feel like baking is like my D, like my work. I just take a little bit of powder and I put her under my eyes. Just a little bit because I don't want her to look super cakey. So I just take a little bit. Last step on my face is bronzer because we gonna bronzer her up like to the gods like she's on the beach chilling being you know laddered bronze so we're just gonna bronze her very lightly literally all around very very lightly my forehead lightly because like i said we got a big ass head we're gonna make her smaller we're gonna minimize her before and after minimize and then i grab that little brush again and then just lightly bronze my nose like where we did the other contour so now my base finished i don't do nothing else the most i'll do for my base is add a little bit of blush because i love blush i told you guys that already so i add a little bit of um of deep throw because you know here we only deep throw if we don't deep throw then you don't go but we're gonna add a little bit of deep throw which is like this little pink because i love it to be pink and i I literally just add a little bit of her just to make her more pink because I like pink. We're gonna make her more pink with a little bit of deep throat. I hope you know you know. Beautiful! I feel so good. We're gonna do mascara. So I use Bang and I use Rare Beauty Miss Selena Gomez again. I mix both of these up. Both of these. And then you gotta make sure to like rub her sideways. That's very important. Mascara is on. She is done. And I know you guys are probably sitting there. You're like, just like your eyebrows. You did not touch them. I know. I know. I'm going to show you guys what I do to my eyebrows. Now, I do not like to color my eyebrows. I like to illuminate them. I only like to like snatch them up if I'm doing like a full glam. But if I'm keeping it natural, I'm going to grab a little bit of this NYX glue. And I'm going to glue them Gorilla Glue them bitches down. You ain't even going to notice. So we just going to brush right through them holes like this. Like ain't no tomorrow. Don't be scared. Brush through them bitches. 
just like literally brush through them brush them brush them brush them brush them till they're up just like that and then i leave them looking crazy like that and i let them dry for a little bit so i'm gonna start on the other one i don't curl my lashes i have a fear of curling my lashes so i just leave them like that because you know what i don't want to play with losing my lashes okay i barely got pelitos there we're not gonna lose them all now that she's been there for a minute we're gonna grab a spoolie and just line her up beautiful well, laminated brows. <laughs> laminated brows at home on a budget. Bougie on a budget. That's my motto. That's my thing. Bougie on a budget, period. Now, for the final step, the step that you guys always ask me, that you guys always tell me what it is. Jessica, what's your lip combo? What's your lip combo? What's your lip? I'm going to tell you what my lip combo is. You cannot go tell nobody what my lip combo is. My lip combo starts off with a brown, and this is from Juvia's Place, and it's so rare. The best brown in your life. And we're just going to overline the brown through our lips. We're going to do that now. And the trick is, you overline the top, but when you go to the bottom, you just kind of lightly bring her down. You follow your natural. Don't overline the bottom because you're going to look like a blowfish. Just overline the top and then bring the bottom down. Beautiful. See? She's brown now. Now I grab Juvia Place again and I grab love me and I basically fill her in right she's not done yet you can take any lip gloss I'm feeling bougie today and I'm gonna take some Dior lip gloss okay money but that's just because I'm feeling bougie if you feel feeling regular any lip gloss will do it literally does not matter any lip gloss with a little bit of a pink tote put that right over your lips look at her look at this lip combo I know I know I know. Okay, there you go. Don't wear it out. Don't fill it out. But I told y'all. Okay, stop talking. I told y'all my lip. I told y'all my lip combo. So now we gonna get dressed, brush this hair, and we good to go. Okay, guys. So this is the outfit choice I chose. I chose to go very simple, but I feel cute. You know what I mean? You gotta make sure the outfit twerk proof before you leave the house. And it is. I chose a cute little simple outfit. Something simple. I might do this with Air Force. Cause I already brushed my hair. But something y'all gonna learn about me is before we go anywhere, we need our sunnies. We cannot leave without a pair of sunnies. We gonna put some perfume on we've got to smell good and we're ready to go and i added this little baggie to it obviously i'm gonna take this off thank you guys for watching i love you bad bitches and make sure to like comment and subscribe once again turn on those post notification bells so you guys are always notified when i upload a brand new video comment down some video ideas for me and love you guys